Okay, so now I did two ways. <laughs> two ways should work, right? It seems fine. I don't know. We gave it the old college try. Uh, let's hope it restarted to the right save point for us after last week's screw-ups. Oh, nameless, faceless servant. Died masked, and no one dareth care his name. Woohoo! Thank you, Leah. It's so helpful. Oh, what the hell? We have been disconcerted. Someone threw us off balance. The cost of effort pours, will increase the use of our skills. Oh, hell no, it won't. We are going to take some drugs. Fix that right up. Up. Oh, it's our crazy shit mother. Well, he does lie, but he is Louie. Look, we have matching nose scars. <gasps> We're fighting. Only she's using a gun. She's breaking the rules. I'm here to save her. It's time to go home, remind her of the book. I'm here for her. Lord Mortimer wrote to me. Uh. Uh. To fear. Shit, I forgot to it hit the desktop audio. You are evil shit, incarnate. shit, shit. Let's just, uh... Let's just restart. Thank you for letting me know. Hey, Post. No, no good road carry-on, but also didn't become road carry-on. Yeah, I had a post-it over here in the top right to uh, a checklist of all those things to do. But then I forgot the checklist existed, so I needed a checklist to remember the checklist, apparently. We do again. Just pretend you didn't see anything. <laughs> you saw nothing. Act surprised when the gun comes out and you don't, don't know who's move. back there. You don't know who this is. You don't know what that is. It's, <laughs> it's Wait, all fine. I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. Oh my god, mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? She just all what? crusted in but blood. Mother! Who are you? It's me, Louie, your son. No, you lie. Yeah, look at all this. You won't catch me out like that. Louie. Louie isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. <laughs> you think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't No one work. thinks that, ma'am. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? Yep. She's fighting us. And I don't really know what to say to the crazy lady. It's time to go home, mother. Seems patronizing. I'm here to save you. Seems patronizing. Remind her about the quest for the book. It's gonna set her off. We tried that last time. Lord Mortimer is probably gonna set her off. I'm here for her is the same answer. I'm just gonna go for the one that would cause the most. I'm here to help you. You have nothing to fear. If only it were so simple. Hey. You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. He's I the dullest man I've ever listened harm. to, ma'am. Really, mother? It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. 
It really is me, Louie. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are. What was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. And How it's a garbage saying it? that sucks. Always keep your mind logical. And open. And open. Stupid. You knew it. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather. Whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. <laughs> Von we were investigating an art dealer. His name? I don't know why they treat this name so important throughout the whole game. I just told you, you can't trick me. His name was Von Borschert. My god, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. D bitch! Otherwise, all this would be for nothing. Mother, it is all for nothing, always with you. To you. But don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. We'll get you nose jobs. No, I ordered you not to come with me. I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance. So I took the... No, no, no. It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that. Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Uh... Mother, I don't know what you're imagining, but don't worry. Everything will be all right. If you're worried about what I might think about Elizabeth Adams, honestly... Oh, Louie! Elizabeth is the last of my worries right now. I did what I could for her, but it was too late. Yeah. Very well. Nice Lots hysterectomy job. Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. A girl showed sexual interest in me. Uh, having visions is weird. Like me having visions, for example? I knew it! It started! Oh, Hell, Louis, I just wish I could... Yes, it's happened to me. Like when I was a boy, I find myself in oh, shit. body. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! of a dream. How did Have we you fail? Ever dreamed of a different place to the one no. where you were sleeping without being able to explain it. No. But mother, don't worry. I'm not losing my mind. Everything is fine. You used to give me a concoction to calm me down when I was little. So, just make some for me once we get back home. Migraines? Lots Cooties? Of consciousness? Lots of control? No, no, rest assured. All is well. I promise you. What else? Jagged face scar. Everything I found in Lord Mortimer's secret study. You managed to get past the nightmare? Yeah, it was easy. I'm I looked up the answers in a walkthrough. But that's not what I meant by strange. He's nevertheless extending his influence across oh, the world. Oh no! We I failed know, it but twice! That's not what concerns me right now. I asked you if anything strange has happened to you personally. Uh... Personally? I think that you being missing for three days, and then me finding you underground, minus a hand, well, that qualifies as strange, don't you think? No! Huzzah! My hand is not important for the moment. We beat her old lady if mind! If that's the only thing you found that shocks you, then all is well. Now sure. shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. Ma'am, your stump you smells about? like blue cheese. A conference, Louis. I should think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Since this morning. Perfect. The conference will be able to begin. Indeed. It shouldn't be long and- Let me finish. We haven't time. Bitch! You will attend this conference. <laughs> Let me finish! You must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Yeah, no, I'm gonna trust the stump lady. Right. I'll do what you ask of me. But calm down, please, Mother. Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. What do you mean? Mortimer, Holm, their guests. Watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No. Yeah, that's what really, the elite Louis. do. They shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. 
They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! Yeah, eat the rich! Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference and, from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. Yeah, anarchy! We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, after. Go now. <laughs> She's yes, a mother, liar. I'm going, I'm going. God, you're a wimp. One more thing, Mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and... <laughs> Just one more thing. It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. Maybe it was the dinner bell. We haven't had food since brunch. Remembering how to get out of the maze. It's pretty small, so there aren't too many ways. I'm gonna do it the very first try, cause I'm the best. Food? No, that's just somewhere to see it. Attend the conference. Attend the conference. Where is the conference? Ah, Francois Premier. Did not care. Amber crystals. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. Ew. With his brain oozing. <laughs> brain oozing? What the fuck is that? God damn it, this isn't the conference. Uh, where is the conference? Dickel. Mr. Dorichet, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. Yes. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. It's glad to see that uh, you're not the guy that looks just like you that's dead. Should we mention we found the body again? Nah, probably not. Probably better not. <laughs> chatting, chatting, haha, <laughs> wit, repartee, discourse, cocktails. Alright, be cool, Louis. Don't ruin this like every other party you've ever been to. Very smooth. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry. You are not alone, Louis. Very well. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis. I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. 
in concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume? Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited. But as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the assembly for it to become French. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. It's incredibly sus, Leon, but let me warn you, this game is about to take a turn way out in the left field. <laughs> if, you try, if you try making sense of this game now, you are going to get kicked right in the eyeball. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you'll get for thinking. Right now, we were just told of a plan to get Spain to just give the Louisiana Purchase Territories to France, who will then just give those territories to the United States, making it twice as big. It's, it's absolute madness. And I don't remember the exact details of the Louisiana Purchase, but there was a purchase involved. I could tell by the name. Uh, where does the project extend? How far does it go? Isn't that the same question? Well, that one doesn't cost me nothing. Lord Mortimer, I'm sure you're aware that Louisiana is hardly prime quality land. I wouldn't be exaggerating to call it marshland. How is acquiring land they won't know what to do with going to strengthen the United States? Think further, Louis. The United States won't stop there. Once they've acquired Louisiana, nothing will stop them. All they would have to do then is keep pushing toward the west to take the whole North American continent. 
So you intend to get rid of the Spanish? They are purely transitory. This is the settlers' home. It is natural for them to want to develop their nation to become one of the greatest powers of this world. As for the Spanish, there are just a handful of them actually on site, and if need be, we'll see to it that they are sufficiently occupied in Europe so that their focus is not on the North American continent. Moreover, Spain really only cares about its colonies in South America. It's hardly my fault if they are not capable of seeing the potential in the North American territories. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you. And me, your mother. and a guillotine. Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Excuse me, but I don't trust him. You didn't know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? Hang on. There will be no mentioning of Jar Jar Binks in this goddamn channel. Do you understand me, Leon? If you ever say Jar Jar, and I know it wasn't really about Jar Jar, but if you ever utter that name again... Listen, I, I pretty much don't want to hear about the prequels or the sequels. I only... I will only tolerate to Star Wars talks about the original trilogy. And if I catch a whiff of reference, I will ban you for life. <laughs> there will be none of that. Back to the game. My friends, I propose we get started. Absolutely no mention of the natives that live there. I, I, your mom would totally support what we're doing here if only she hadn't disappeared. You'll just have to stand in for her, please. Yeah, I mean, what idiot? What idiot would go for that? But Louie's a pretty big idiot. I don't know. What do you think of the plan, though? Do you want, do you want the United States to grow? Do you want the marshland of Louisiana? You know why Louisiana was important, right? In those southern states, it was because that was the delta of the Mississippi River, and all the food and goods, and ammunition, and such that you could travel up and down that river, was pivotal, pivotal for growth before the railroads were built. You know. 60 years later, generations later. So that river was key to the westward expansion and manifest destiny and all that evil. Miss Pippa's Delta. We all been there. <laughs> See, Nemo, we do some learning here. We do some historicalness. Just remember that when the game goes completely off the rails. Not back to the menu. Back to our seats. This will be my little chair. First of all, Louis. I'd like to thank Damn it. you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. You're welcome. As Where is my food? Wisdom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah no. de Richet is unable to be among us. Please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur I de hope Richet. he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. 
I don't know, was he a member? Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other. More now than ever before. A dream? The rich are nothing if not tacky. I'm sorry, I can't stop eating these crackers. I really have to stop. They're very good. It's Mary's Gone Crackers. Super Seed. Fucking delicious. I'm sorry, back to the game, back to the game. That, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by How example. How dare he say I have a dream? The American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer. But I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. Shut and up, George Washington. I remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But... Well, it is not for sale. Yeah, we named it after Lord Louise. Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall. <laughs> you will soon adore my proposition. The only golden order I want to be a part of is coffee and cheesecake night on the Golden Girls. But I mean, this guy's reaction is perfectly logical, right? Like, you can't just ask us to give up a huge chunk of land for no good reason. Well. Since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. <laughs> However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I am not mistaken, in the northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Yeah, they're not Dude, savages. These savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet, that does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. Oh, so called out, Slave Master yourself, Washington. If you please. Senor. You guys all suck. I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject. No, it's not. We shall resolve at a future date. No. Yeah, filthy swine. It obviously doesn't stop you from sleeping at night. Not in the least. Do not imagine I have anything against the American Indians or the blacks. That is not the question. But business is business. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Man, it might as well be the likes of you who rule. Is that right? But of course. Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, and these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits. If they don't have souls, what are you saving? If you don't mind your eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Uh uh. Uh uh. Well, if I were you, Senor Godoy, I would think twice before stirring up a scandal. I beg your pardon? Given the size of your colonies, you won't be able to keep them for long. A number of countries are eyeing them as we speak. The United States would have no trouble taking them. 
For all intents and purposes, you have no army in place. By wanting to keep everything, you risk losing it all, especially your colonies in South America, which are far more valuable to you. That is indeed the danger, Duke Manuel. If it comes to war over Louisiana, you will lose, and probably a good deal more than you now imagine. Young man, you are indeed a dark horse, aren't you? I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. It's jujitsu. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Fuck you, slave teeth, Washington. He's senile. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? Didn't I just give one? What the hell? The French does not seek the Pope's opinion. Take it on maps of the world. I don't know. On the maps of Italy I saw in Mortimer's secret study, he had anticipated movements of troops across Italy. I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning an invasion of Italy by France, and if I push the notion a bit further, I can well imagine that Bonaparte's cannons, financed by the Order, will be used for that purpose. The noose is tightening around poor Piaggi's neck without him even realizing it. I don't know if I'm the best person to speak about that, Your Eminence. Well, I think that the French army will enter Italy, and that the Vatican will do whatever France demands of it, if the Vatican wants to retain its place. You are joking, I hope. Lord Mortimer, I did not come here to listen to such nonsense. What makes you think that, Monsieur de Richet? Well, Monsieur Bonaparte, here present, has ordered a large number of cannons, and I wouldn't be surprised if they were to be used to keep Italy under control. Come, sir. What a strange idea. I have enough on my plate with issues in Corsica. If you say so. You see, you But Corsica is not where the cannons are to be delivered, is it? Aye, but... Ah, uh, Louis, you are quick-witted. I like you. You seem to be overlooking something, Monsieur les Français. <laughs> I also have backers who would be only too pleased to demonstrate the full extent of their fervor by defending the Vatican. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. I don't think Sir Gregory gives a damn. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicherer Ihnen, Emily, nie preußen wird diese Feinbarung akzeptieren. German swine! I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower no. the volume. And let Sir Gregory... Royal Gigolo. Uh. Holm, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces 
and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. <laughs> Petty and in control. Just like I like him, us, Mr. Holmes. Come, Ray, I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Do we? No. Fuck Let you, George go. Washington. We were waiting for the chance. Everyone is free to choose. Washington, you didn't even like the plan. I don't know what you're shocked about. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry. We shall counter him. Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? Food? He could have my vote for food. I know about his plan. Let's rat him. Rat him out. His aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible. A democratic superpower. I don't understand. That has nothing to do with the coming vote. You will ask for France to take over Louisiana and then hand it over to the United States and so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! Has he God's mad? blood! No, Johan. He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis. Let's kill him. I would like to thank you for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Kill him. Destroy him. Yeah. No, we'll beat him at his own game, my friends. His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, War is what you'll get on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you Yeah, expect? everybody against France. France. See how that works out. What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And me, Sir Gregory? What about my mommy? Louis, you have won my trust. The order will have to act in France. But even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Le war. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, I know, Louis, I am thrilled. I'd like to see you a moment, please. Oh, we gonna get that Thank kiss. You for today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. You leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. Can I kick him around a bit? I'll do my best. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. Whatever. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Happy to be a snitch. 
All right, let's go lean on Mr. Slave Teeth. We've been waiting for this opportunity. Get out of my fucking way, you dead guy. Let me in, please. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, that's impossible. Uh, oh, 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 fuck you. Can you at least tell me who is still in the room? I'm looking for a guest. Of course, sir. It would seem that only Lord Mortimer and Mr. Napoleon are present. The other guests have gone back to their rooms by another door. A Louis door? I'm looking for President Washington. Would you know where he is by any chance? Uh, unfortunately not, sir. All I can say to sir is that the president is no longer in the conference room. I bet he All found right. some food, I'll the fat bastard. Myself. Find him, Thank find you. the food. Have a good evening, sir. Fuck you. Up, up. Exiting this poorly decorated shithole. Honestly, what were they thinking about the spaces they were dividing that room up into? Okay, Washington, Washington. Did you see what Washington? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Monsieur. Would you happen to know where I could find Monsieur Washington? Monsieur. Sorry, sir, I haven't the foggiest. Perhaps, sir, I'll try in President Washington's room? That's what I was going to do next. Thanks for nothing. I was hoping he'd be, like, in the kitchen. We didn't get no feasts except brunch. And I mean, it was a delightful brunch, but what in the hell? Map. Show me Washington. My room. Adams' rooms, tower room. We gotta go upstairs, I guess. Those are downstairs, we need upstairs. Gay and night. Nope, these are downstairs. Stairs. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Uh oh. I didn't really know what room I was entering. What is this? Mary Louise of Parma. How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my lord Duke. Oh, it's Duke's slut bag. His room. Hmm. It looks like someone's hidden something on the back of this painting. It's a letter. Ooh. Of course, it's written in Spanish. We can read Spanish. It reeks of lavender. Well, well. Well, it's got a lavender cooter. interested in hiding this letter. Another... Secret romance, I presume? It's Miss Dippy asking the Duke not to sell Louisiana. So, let's see what it says. I can't read all that. My tender papita, I feel so guilty at being so far away from you again. Even it's for the good for my country. Blah, 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 blah. Stop being jealous, blah, 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 blah. It seems that the queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Mm. If the queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep mm -hmm. it with me. You never know. A little blackmail. I love it. Here's the information obtained by intelligence. I can confirm... Mr. Hay is indeed working on an agreement with Great Britain. Mr. Hay. Don't know who that is. Don't care. Can I have some drugs? An occult air symbol key. I think I already unlocked that. Oh, that looks like it might be... Get out of my way stuff! That looks like it might be drugs. Carmelite water. Nice. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Yeah, a boost. That's it. Prometheus. Punished for stealing fire from the Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. Oh, a royal jelly. Yum, yum. Let's keep snooping. Golden elixir. And stealing drugs. That was just a shiny... Nothing. 
I picked up this great um, marijuana infused honey the other day that I haven't tried yet. And I think after this, I'm going to try it. I just got to figure out what flavor tea I want. That is a painting. I want the drugs. Devil Thorn. So yeah, there's no dosage on the bear though. So we'll have to see um, how that works out. Amber. So yeah, I am still thinking of what games to stream next after the council's done. Um, and like I was saying, I was thinking of doing some evening streams. Some Knight Rider streams. Uh, I was thinking about playing Killer Frequency because I haven't beaten that yet anyway. And it's not really like a great, um, you know, it's not really great for the bit because there's not much to interact with on screen. But I still thought it might be fun because gives us all a lot of time to talk. It seems like there's nothing else here. Let's get out before we get caught snooping and find that bastard Washington. Killer Frequency was one idea. Um, the madness, of, the infectious madness of Dr. Decker was another idea. That's a game I have on Switch that is done by the FMV game company Wales Interactive. That's where I just came at, right? Okay. Washington. No, no, that's the door I just came out of. Shit. I was trying to just read the thing. Anywho. Um, yeah, Wales Interactive uh, makes, or used to make, I don't know, they seem to have fallen off lately oh, as they got me. bigger. But FMV means a full motion video or full movie video game. Where everything is pre-recorded actors, you know what I mean? Kill the Frequency would be good for spookiness. Yeah, the FMV games are pretty niche still, but there's a die-hard fan base of people who still love them. His eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Oh, can we snoop in Piaggi's room? No. Um. But yeah, there's a, a fan base who just loves the the B-movie kind of kitschiness of, of them. I also have, um, what was that famous FMV that got all the censorship? What was it called? Night Party? Night Raid? I can't remember it, but it was the one that, like, Tipper Gore was famously holding up next to, like, Mortal Kombat and why we got the George ESRB Washington. ratings. Aha! Here's this fucking room. Stealing the old man's drugs. Soon without excess. Ha. Let's go through his old man files. It's probably old National Geographic, Locked. but let's look. Unlock that shit. Yeah, full motion video games. The president's are... personal reserve of laudanum. Holy shit! Can't go without it. He's a fucking junkie and a half. Ah, He's got a mini there. fridge full of opium. Dear Mr. President, I'm returning as quickly as I can. We spoke about it before you left, but I know things have not improved. I urge you to follow my advice and stop taking laudanum immediately. And to be clear, laudanum is alcohol and opium, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do. I'm already looking for a substitute. This cocaine looks promising. <laughs> Doesn't say it, but that's what I'm assuming. Uh, your excessive consumption is in danger of definite, definitively impairing your chances of scoring your next mandate. Of securing your next mandate. Is he, like, actively president right now? 
Your addiction is jeopardizing the exercise of your office and duties, my friend. I regret I see no other solution but to stop your daily intake. Thank you, W. Thompson, doctor. Well then. Got another bit of blackmail for all my snooping. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to share you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. Whatever. So that means I gotta go to Mortimer's room to find Washington. I want more drugs. I don't feel like I was given enough things for my effort here. God dang it. Drugs? Yes. I don't care about your stupid... Is that a painting of Washington? Portrait of George Washington. <laughs> Carmelite water. You say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Yeah, alright. I feel like I got a lot of drugs now. I feel like I'm all good and drugged up. Oh shit! What are you doing in my room? We got busted. Flatter his dumb ass. I, I wanted to have a word with you, but just between ourselves. Here, the walls have ears. You're right. Caution is the mother of safety. Well, sucker. Here, can I get you something to drink? No, no, thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So what can I do for you? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. You're a laughing stock. Mr. President, Mortimer is simply leaving you by the wayside. Look how smug he was when he addressed you during the conference. The country closest to his heart is and always will be France. You him, soft United little doughboy. a stooge nation in service of the French. Stooge. Louis, your youth might excuse your impetuosity. And not even Mo but or not Curly. Your stupidity. Larry. Without Mortimer, the United States wouldn't have made it this far. And against all the odds, we are now a nation which everyone wants to rally around. Not really. Whether you understand it or not, it is set to strive ahead. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis, what have you come here to sell me? You are you a junky fuck. And why would I do that? Blackmail him. I regret to have to resort to such extreme measures, but... If you really care about your career, Mr. President, I must ask you to follow me. I beg your pardon, Louis? Do I detect a threat in your voice, my boy? You're addicted to laudanum. Okay. We both know that this is a powerful opiate that you take on a daily basis to excess. If you don't want it to be disclosed publicly, I entreat you to change sides, Mr. President. That's why your face looks Louis, like a canned ham. I was wrong about you. You learn even quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, the fact that you are here trying to blackmail me only makes me cringe even more. <gasps> you are now walking a dangerous path. You said man. we committed cringe. I would never give in to this sort of tactic. Do you have any persuasive arguments? Well, shit. Listen, Louis. If I had any doubts about Lord Mortimer's project, I stand reassured now. I hope Sir Gregory has uh, more no. tricks up his sleeve than you do. George Washington because beat our ass. I regret to inform you that, as far as politics is concerned, you've got a lot to learn. Oh, fuck. But you are still young, so don't worry. Let's just beat him to On death. On that note, I would like to get some sleep. No one can know about shame. Sleep. Kill him. 
Good night, Mr. President. No, you would. Shit. That was a failure. Oh, There's god damn it. I can do except wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Ah, shit. Now we just gotta go to bed. God damn it, Louie. Fucked up everything. Bonaparte's room. Godoy's room. Our room. Alright, yeah, just keep going. You suck so bad, Louie. Mm -hmm. He went running. That's our room. Oh, shit. Well, this day can't get any worse. <gasps> uh, hello. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. Would you like me to rub your back? I'm to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. She said penetrate. Disturbing you, perhaps? That was innuendo. That's not what I said. Ah, oh, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily, can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me. Well, damn. Are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Yeah, she's stumpy and we found her. I've seen her, Emily. What? When was that? A little earlier, just before the conference. She was hiding. And did you manage to speak to her? She's not the same. No, she's crazy as shit. I don't know what's been happening to her, but she's changed. She's following the hobo path now. State with, with one of her hands cut off. Yeah, and the stuff smelled she like blue cheese. crazy things, bordering on delirium. What? Waving a gun Did around. Did you say one of her hands was cut off? Yeah. What happened to her? I think she I ate it. She, she wouldn't say. And did she tell you why she... Why... Why she shot Emma? But how do you know she shot Emma? I didn't tell you. You knew it? Ah, oh, why did you give it away, anything. Louis? Damn it! Really? Keeping your little secrets to yourself. That's not nice. I was afraid for you. No need to justify yourself, you know. We both have our secrets. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Oh shit, she came for one thing. She came for the booty. I mean, oh, I... I thought the, uh... Context would be that she would be getting our vote in, in the other playthrough, but I guess she just does it anyway. Oh no, my wallet! My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it? Don't time worry to about her. her. Not so fast. She's busy. He she knows he's sleeping figure. with Roche. He Ought sent her. More faith in her. He's the pimp. What are we going to do? About Washington. He will be a hard nut to crack. No, he won't. Well, just take just away his more. drugs. He is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. No, he, he just wants drugs. Everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. Ah, bad idea. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he is intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. 
Please excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Hmm. Oh, I see. Very I think sus. It is high time you left us then. Now. Wow, it's like he knew we were in there. Did we have sex? I don't know. Hey, Emily? Emily? Are you there? Nah, she was never here. It was a dream. Lame. Sir, the conference is about to begin. Nah. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Tell Thank them you. I won't without breakfast. On, Louis. The game is back on. We need another brunch. Need a crap ton of coffee. My friends, the conference is about to begin. And please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you, I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. Nocturnal what? attentions? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How what about our otherwise? chat? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. <gasps> and you, President Washington, what is your position? Threw so much shade. Oh, of course. She said nothing. And I will add for your benefit, Sir Gregory. That next time you send someone to try to persuade me to change sides, choose someone with a minimum of experience. Oh, I won't forget, Mr. President. Oh shit. That leaves just yourself and Mr. Told you we should have killed him and hide our You're shame. You're making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you of course are. he's been drinking. He's French. Do this and Madame do just that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come in. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. <laughs> My lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques. We'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Huh. Intervene? <laughs> Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Look at his sad face. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. I've had enough of your money, your influence, your power. It's not my job. I want my freedom back. I want my damn life back. I want my life back by ending it. Smart. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Huzzah! I could have found out Peru's secret. I could have found a secret from Napoleon. I could have found out about Sir Gregory. Well, that's a lot of shit I could have done. Way of crap. Well, I guess that's how we're gonna end it for this week. With a bang. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. 
I'll see you next Tuesday for more The Council and for um, Saturday. Don't forget the pinned link is to whatchamacallit, the YouTube that will um, be streaming The Wolf Among Us on Saturday at 1 p.m. same time as this one. So thank you very much for coming and watching and I hope you liked the preview and uh, yeah, have a great week. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and uh, keep up with the possum code. Can't lead you wrong. Bye.